understandably so. We have a wonderful game for you today. We have the Viking Longboat Strategy, but with a twist. So when I played the Viking Longboat Strategy, one of the team members goes for longboats and the other team members go for something that can penetrate the inner layers of walls. So for example, knights, or they go uh, siege, or they go their unique unit, something that can, or even archers that can harass the interior. But A12C5 and low APM have decided in this game that they're both going to be playing Vikings and they're both going to be using longboats. They're going to be adding additional units to their composition to push the interior. Let's see how that goes. I just love in Age of Empires that even within one strategy like Viking longboats on Hillfort. You can make your own variation possible. Whenever you see something on my YouTube channel, feel free to use it, to abuse it, to make adaptations to it. Make that strategy your own. Also, what I find really, really cool about this particular game, I've watched a little bit of it, is that Low APM has his own style of pushing and A12C5 has his own style of pushing even though they're both playing as Vikings even though they're both using longboats we're going to see how their pushes differ low APM is going to be pushing pink I'm just gonna call them pink and they are playing as the Franks in this particular situation and red or question mark question mark Sabrina question mark question mark is playing as the Incas. Now, I always find that on Hillfort, it's a little bit awkward to get the Castle Age. You do have to invest into a whole bunch of farms. Actually, this looks like an over-investment by Red. I actually want to see what the... Uh... Oh, actually, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's always kind of a race to see who will get Castle first. And it looks like A12C5 is the first to cast. So getting eco upgrades, getting fletching, very important if you're going to be dropping longboats. And I have to kind of pay a little bit of attention to the map here. Has he already sent villagers forward? No, he has a scout over here. It looks like low APM has a scout over here. Low APM, the second to castle. And question mark, question mark, Sabrina? Question mark, question mark is also up the castle. It looks like Pink is not as familiar with this particular map. Let's take a quick look at Pink. Yeah, not enough. Oh, he went for scout play. Okay, that's a lot of scouts to be producing. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You're, you're Frank Snow. That means that uh, low APM is going to maybe have a hard time getting his docks up. Oh, and the villagers have been spotted as well by red signaling to pink where to hit oh this could be this could be terrible let's see how the coordination is between them uh, it looks like a12c5 is going to have a very easy time getting his dock up but these villagers are going to get absolutely murked what what just passing oh that's it that's a huge mistake and now Pink realizes the scouts come back. Is he going to be able... Oh my god, there's so many scouts over here. There's no way that low APM gets this dock up, right? Oh, this is so awkward. You can't fight this low APM. Please keep one of them alive. Oh, I think he's going to manage. Yeah, just distract over here. Oh, there's still one more villager. If he can get this dock up, it's huge. If not... It's disaster right from the get-go. Oh, this woman is an absolute hero over here. Build the dock. Construct some palisade walls. You, you gotta put palisade walls around. That That's not safe. Yeah, okay, there. And then palisade, palisade, palisade. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Meanwhile, A12C5 already has his dock up. And... He is going to be constructing 
those longbow sabrina's eco looking very very healthy i did this because i want to switch to a12c5 seeing how many longboats are in there two at the moment low apm he's constructing longboats as well and very soon this push is about to commence that was actually really terrifying with the amount of scouts that pink has i wonder if pink is going to try and, and push something over here yeah does look like it but additional house walls being constructed behind it i think feudal aggression on hillfort is actually quite viable and the reason i think it is so viable is because people don't really expect it would be nice actually oh siege workshop at home to defend against these scouts yeah i don't think these scouts are going to get in fortified palisade walls are also pretty decent but now it becomes tricky because you kind of have to coordinate with a12c5 uh, that he needs to protect his gate as well because he's going for low APM but he could easily switch this to A12C5 and make his life difficult and all of a sudden he would have <coughs> nine scouts running around in his base. Why is he Why is he so dead set on low APM? I know it's not your direct opponent but honestly you should be able to... Well, whatever. Meanwhile, longboats over here are pushing. Longboats over here are pushing through these gates but destroying the gates is all good and well you can just wall behind so what is the idea over here well the idea from a12c5 is different than the idea from low apm low apm is constructing some defensive scorpions at home and i wonder if he's going to go for offensive scorpions once he has secured his base i really think that purple in this particular situation could have caught a12c5 off guard by simply moving these scouts. Yeah, those scouts are now dying. Construct a house wall, please. Construct a house wall, please. Oh, you don't want to let that get into your base. Meanwhile, these longbows are looking where they can do damage. Nothing to be found over here. Nothing to be found over here. Yeah, siege. So this is how low APM loves to push. He likes to go for scorpions. He likes to go for rams. He doesn't really like mangonels. He likes scorpions more than... Mangonels, which I always found very, very interesting. It looks like this at home has been cleared up with just a couple of Scorpers. Another TC at home. I normally build these CCs on the outer ring, but it's all fine. And now the harassment is starting with the longboats. <laughs> it's not even in range. You could eventually get rid of this, I suppose. Oh man, longboats. So OP. And Pink is only now up to Castle Age, and he didn't really get any reward. Oh, there are the scouts. Oh, Longboats, Rex, Scout Skis. Oh, painful to watch. Yeah, I can't get a whole bunch of value out of scouts, especially in Castle Age. You really need those night numbers up, and I, I don't think it was worth it for Pink in this particular situation i also wonder what the follow-up is going to be from a12c5 it looks like he has enough stone in the bank for a castle Ooh, interesting defensive tower i wonder how much damage yeah uh no nah, that's not really worth taking down especially if he's repairing it yeah you, you, you gotta move this away at this point uh yeah you're just losing too many numbers over here I don't, I don't like this decision to, to keep going for it. Micro's away to week one. That's kind of nice. But now could target that week one. And yeah, throwing, throwing all of these longboats away isn't quite optimal. Meanwhile, low APM is <laughs> having fun with this ram. Just shooting all of these scout cavalry as soon as they show up. Oh, longboats, man. Longboats are so fun. And look. Oh, you come in rain. Duh, duh. It's super important with the strategy to get ballistics uh, eventually. Obviously, you can't really in the beginning. And oh, that ram, 1 HP. Where's that woman? Where's that woman? Get that woman to repair. Get the woman to repair. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is nice. I like this. So he's going for an offensive castle that reaches the tower that was giving him a whole bunch of problems and the TC. Meanwhile, the longboats are able to support this castle killing as many villagers as they possibly can oh this is great kill this one guy over here they can't quite get around nice wall ins as well uh what is this from red okay it looks like he is going to go for kamiuks i love kamiuks i think they're such a cool unit <laughs> what what are these guys there oh my god the shredding shred city over here 
Man, longboats are so fun to play with. I mean, I don't really like water maps, but longboats might convince me otherwise. Uh, they're so fun. And now this whole side is completely under pressure. Red has lost so many villagers there. 66 fills, but pink not going up sooner actually really hurt him. And he's still getting tons and tons of pressure. And with all of these longboats here, even eight knights, I don't think can take out all of these scorpions. Scorpions actually do pretty okay and uh, definitely need to fire over here. Let's see how this engages. Uh, awkward, awkward, awkward. I think he's going to lose all of these knights. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, but he definitely can't engage against these longboats. Oh, nice micro there. Keeping that weak one alive forever. Does go down eventually, but more longbows being produced. Scorpions chipping away as well. And clears up all the knights. Longboats, man. No joke. Eight longboats against eight knights. Give me eight longboats any single day of the week. You can also, they're faster than knights, so you can run away, shoot, run away, shoot, run away, shoot, run away, shoot. Looks like this is completely cleared out. Berserks, yes! So A12C5 is using Berserks to push with longboats, whereas A12C5 is going for a Siege Viking push. We are Vikings! Ya la 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 la! Uh, I, I'm probably going to get monetized for that. This castle needs to eventually be ha handled. Look how many Kamiuks are over here. That's quite a big quantity. Even doing some farming eco over here, I don't like that decision. I think the longboats could range this or scouts could raid this. Why not just build the uh, the mill and, and, and the farms over here where you have a nice safe castle? Oh man, pushing through. Going for the towers. This is another way that low APM loves to push. He loves to go for those towers. That Hunnic tower rush. Everything getting absolutely wrecked over here. But that tower, I think, is no bueno. Especially since an additional castle is being dropped. Yeah, you might as well finish it. And, and garrison maybe to try and kill some additional vills. No. Has to find another angle of attack now. But Pink is already so far behind just because he didn't boom earlier. Those scouts, I think, really were a poor decision on his end. Meanwhile, Kamiuks show up over here. They could get into A12C5's base. Needs a house, needs a house. I don't think he's realized. Oh, this could be a disaster. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but so many TCs are over here. I didn't realize how many TCs he had. Retreat! 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 Oh man, that's hilarious! I mean, they're always just getting shot, they're always just getting thrown. The, the pierce armor on these guys is not great. Cool, you have long six and you have some range over there, but... You do not want to be engaging with Kamiuks against TCs. That's no... Oh my god, so many of these just got thrown. And as soon as they run out, I say you just rewall this section over here, right? And then you're totally fine. Three TCs at home. I normally like to build my TCs like on the outskirts. I mean, given that this is like a really small layer, but like over here is a nice TC. This is a good TC. Uh, is this hilly over here? I can't really tell if that's hilly or not. I think that's a decent TC. Looks like he wants to push over here, but there's a castle and a TC. The TC is going to make it tricky to push. Definitely don't want to throw. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, nice, nice, nice. If A12C5 manages to go Imperial, you can actually use these guys to protect your siege, and it becomes absolute nonsense. I love it so much. Yeah, and they, they outrange TCs as well, so you, I guess you could slowly take out TCs in that regard as well. Berserks cleaning up these Kamiuks. Oh man, tons of fun to be had with this strategy. Denying this tower over here, of course, low APM. He has so many... Scorpions, 11 scorpions trying to get through over here. Now, instead of poking this wall with the um, with the pikemen, yeah, bring these guys over. And I wonder if they got ballistics or not. I'm very bad at looking if people get ballistics or not. Uh, and, and this push can literally, because you can hold the water, right? I mean, even like mangonels and stuff are, are going to be no match for a whole bunch. Oh, and this castle is going to get denied if he f focuses down the... Please focus the vills. Oh, low APM. Focus the vills. Focus the vills. For crying out loud, focus the vills. Focus the vills, madman! He's focused on his own castle. 
That's actually a great castle. That denies so much farming eco. Oh, low APM. The pikemen even taking down those mangoes. Oh, you gotta deny this castle, dude. I think now... I mean, his scorpions have realized. His scorpions are all about it. And yeah, these longbows do not have ballistics because they are missing like crazy. Meanwhile, A12C5 has actually taken out this TC with simply longboats. Longboats, man. Longboats. Oh, that, that castle should not have gone up. I, I don't feel like that castle should have gone up. Uh, I, I know that low APM was probably distracted over here with this castle. And this is a great castle, by the way. A lot of people, when they place it, oh, I'm placing an offensive castle. Let me place it right over here. Yeah, this is really going to put a lot of pressure on the pink. I mean, there's a lot going on over here. There's a bird flying around. There's a relic. Maybe at some point, pink's going to want to grab that. No. If you're going to place an offensive castle, smack it right in their face. Put it where they cannot ignore it. And I don't think pink can ignore this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine farms denied. That's almost 600 wood that has been denied. In addition, that wood cannot be converted into food. Now, A12C5 is imperial. Oh my god. <laughs> Just a trail of Kamiuks behind these longboats. Uh, and they're so cost effective too. The longboats. You can you can literally shoot and run, shoot and run. If you do it right, you should never lose a longboat to Kamiuks. And now he has tons and tons of berserks. Twelve berserks. Probably going to be constructing some trebs. I would assume chemistry. Yeah, chemistry actually also affects your longboat. Want to get the range upgrade, getting the upgrades for his berserks as well. Swimming in resources, except for gold, actually has way too much stone. Could sell some of this stone to get some of that additional gold and then produce additional traps. But you know, there's two coming, so meh, it's fine. Having a little bit too many resources is not the worst thing in the world. But if you have resources in general, you wanna spend those resources. Both players are doing a great job pushing. What is this TC? That's a terrible TC. First of all, it's right next to the shoreline. You know he has longboats. Second of all, here is on a hill. It's nicer. Here is pretty okay as well. And it's further away from those longboats. You do not want to get... Oh, it's kind of interesting. Oh, that mango just got flattened. Absolutely flattened. Yeah, I think this trip is going to do so much. Oh, he's just going to go for the main eco. I thought he was going to go for this castle over here. Nope. We coming in. Is this Treb gonna be targeting this castle or the TC? Take your bets now. I'm I'm betting the I'm betting I'm betting the TC, okay? Once this TC goes down, these berserks can get so much value. Now I would put this right here just so that he cannot take this down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you wanna come over with Kamiuks? That's cute. Long boats! Long boats! Oh, you don't need to retreat these guys, just just keep them, yeah. Yeah, absolutely murk everything over here. Red's pretty much out of the game at this point, especially when this goes down. Another treb over here. I like this strategy because it takes a lot of initiative. They have to deal with longboats in their lakes. You can run those longboats around. And oftentimes, you're going to have your opponent build forward stuff next to that low moat. You need to not do that. You need to build TCs like this in the middle of no man's land where you're not going to get harassed by, well, longboats. But these berserks are, are cleaning up. They're going berserk. Slash dead, slash dead, slash, 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 slash. Absolutely killing everything. And this castle soon to follow. Oh, the Kamiuks, the, the panic, the, the abandonment of all hope. Oh, the Viking longboats. So sick. I love Viking longboats. They're so cool. These berserks even helping out. Yeah, okay, that one does go down. But, oof, these Kamiuks, before they can even get there, get destroyed. And these villagers are all super exposed. They're not doing anything at this point. Just keeping the treb safe is a good idea. Low APM, pushing hard, getting rid of this castle. Could drop an additional castle at some point if he does have the stone. Uh... Pink went for a castle over here. That actually makes a lot of sense. It kind of protects here. Gets rid of that dock over here so that low APM cannot build. But it is next to a siege workshop. I wonder if uh, low APM... And this is going to just send me to his base, isn't it? Oh my god, so many idols low APM. I'm sorry that I clicked at this moment. 
Uh, I wonder if he's baking rams in here. Yeah, he is making some rams over here. And if he does get enough rams out, he can definitely push into over here. Needs a whole bunch of uh, gold, though. Would not be opposed to him having some more gold units. Cannon galleons? Oh, you sick puppy. You sick puppy. And now another TC denying the main gold, pushing in on blue. Another TC denying absolutely everything that was left. And blue is now getting 2v1. It's not going to end very well for him. This castle could eventually go down. And this looks like GG if I've ever seen it. Also, score differential of about 2k is, is, is quite big. Scouting doesn't add you that much. Meanwhile, all these villagers and stuff, production buildings, a whole bunch more cameos can buy. I really hope that these longboats get a, another chance to shine. And these castles are also really good because they get the, the plus two from the, um, what's it called? Fletching and then Bakken Arrow. They get the plus two from Bakken Arrow, so these do a lot of damage as well. And it probably has ballistics at this point. Uh, needless to say, and, oh my god, the Kamiuks, man. The Kamiuks just absolutely melt. The castle melts. Everything melts. I don't normally go for cannon galleons because I feel like they're so expensive and so slow. But maybe I need to go for more cannon galleons. They really do tend to wreak absolute havoc. And this is why you have... <laughs> this one hero villager is like, go down! Die already! But no. Incas is going to die just due to a huge mass of berserks going absolutely berserk on him. Did he get this uh, this ram out? Uh, the ram did get sniped, but it, it matters so little at this point. Yeah, GG is called, and this is how you double Viking longbow on Hillfort. Sorry, I'm pumped. This is this is a hype strategy. I really want to try this one out more and more and more and more. Oh, oh, no, just look at this KD from A1 to C5, 136 to 28, that's disgusting, low APM, also a positive KD, and what can you do against this absolute devastation, Sabrina, question mark, question mark, question mark, Highest villager count, but what did he do with that villager count? I think the strategy is to counter Viking longboats, is to build TCs away from that moat. You don't want to be anywhere near that moat. Or I guess you could make your own galleys, or uh, I think Portuguese is going to be the new meta. <laughs> Go for their unique unit on water. I'm just joking, but... That would actually be kind of funny if the new meta was to make ships on Hillfort. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for walking. I really do appreciate it. Keep walking. Keep doing some Viking berserk nonsense. Keep Viking siege pushing. Keep doing your version of Mimi Strats. I really love watching it. Thank you, guys. So much, once again.